go, can we start there? And would you mind just giving the audience a bit of a flavour of what you discovered when it comes to chewing and how that's connected to this? Sure. So there, there's a reason why the vast majority of people on the planet now have some sort of breathing difficulty um, and why so many of us have obstruction in our airways. It's because our mouths have not grown to the size they were supposed to have grown. And this is why we have crooked teeth. We have crooked teeth because we have a mouth that's too small for our faces. And when teeth grow in, they have to fight for room, right? And so they grow all crooked. Mm -hmm. But having a smaller mouth also means you have a smaller airway. And that is one of the main reasons behind this prevalence of sleep apnea and snoring, upper airway resistance syndrome, and so many other problems. But what I found was so interesting in the book, once I started researching this, and what really inspired me to, to spend so much time writing this book, was to learn that our ancestors didn't have these problems. They all had perfectly straight teeth. And if you don't believe me, because I certainly didn't believe this, just look at ancient skulls. I spent months and months looking at ancient skulls. And I can tell you, it is so creepy to see that they all have these perfectly straight teeth. Yeah. Um, so so that's, that's one of the reasons. It's not the only reason why we're all breathing why so many of us are breathing dysfunctionally mm. but it is one of the reasons the the anatomy of the modern human skull has changed yeah yeah it's, we, we've de-evolved that skull very quickly haven't we with some soft baby food it's uh i think after i'd finished that chapter i went downstairs and i had dinner and we had some sort of chili con carne and it was like a soup and i was like i'm literally i've just been listening to a book about this and now i'm not even having to chew i can just slurp this dinner in um what food should we be eating can you give me some examples of some of the stuff that we should be eating? not not necessarily you know be carnivore or, or vegetarian but like is it raw foods like raw carrots and things like that what what's a good thing to chew well we should be eating the stuff that we've evolved to eat right? So there's a reason why all of our ancestors had perfectly straight teeth, why they had these wide mouths, mm. why they had these larger airways, these wider nasal apertures, is because they were chewing real food. And this, mm. this is what our species had done for as long as we've been around, for what, two and a half million years that the, the homo species uh, has been around, just chewing real food. So there's nothing really sophisticated or, or complex about this. It's just, if you look at modern food, even what's considered to be healthy food, avocados, smoothies, yogurt, I mean, oatmeal, on and on. Yeah. This stuff is healthy. It has vitamins, minerals in it, all that. It's all soft. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not chewing at all. So you can go throughout your day, throughout most of your life, never really chewing. A couple chomps and it's gone. If you think about how we evolved, chewing on bones, you're chewing on roots, you're chewing on grasses, you're, you're constantly grinding away. Our ancestors were chewing four hours a day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, you can choose to, to chew all of these different raw foods, carrots, celery, all that. But if you just go back to the diet that we were designed to eat before, you're more than halfway there. Um, you know, I find it ironic that we're now supplementing our diets with minerals and vitamins and goos and powders and all that mm -hmm. you don't need any of that stuff if you just eat real food <laughs> you, you know it's and and so that that's what it comes down to you know he, yeah. here's another new science of a lost art right there yes i think you're right and um we, we talked about mouth taping on the last one and i, I did it and I think there may be times when my mouth is opening, but I think I've got maybe the opposite problem, which is I think I carry so much tension in my jaw, um, I clench at night. So less worry of it opening and more worry of just that, that kind of pressure. And I think, I mean, it's to do with the chewing because I I'm, I remember my mum saying, kid, you need to chew your food properly. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to go out and play. And you, you know, you take three bites and you, you run off. So I'm, it's at a 40 year old age now. I'm really trying to like slow down and chew the food, but I'm still struggling because it's become a, one of those habits, unconscious habits where you just quickly do it and go. But I'm wondering, did you come across anything where um, you found that there was a tension or did it release some sort of stress when people chewed more? Well, that masticatory stress that's so beneficial for our skeleticure and for our breathing later on in life, it really depends how you do it. So if you think about when you're stressed out, when you're fighting, when you're in traffic, you clench your jaw like this. This mm -hmm. is a protective measure, right? You get really stressed. But that does not elicit this parasympathetic or relaxation response that's uh, connected with with chewing food. Mm -hmm. What you want is that 
parasympathetic relaxing response because you want more saliva you want to be able to digest more easily so bruxism which is what you suffer from which is what so many people suffer from this unconscious grinding of your teeth mm -hmm. due to low grade stress this is unconscious stress is coming out when we're like this if you think about when you're chewing something a piece of meat or carrot or whatever you go from one side to the other to the other side you're not using both sets of your molars on both sides to, mm -hmm. to chew along, you know? And, and so that unilateral chewing, right, um, on one side or the other is really what elicits that relaxation response. So bruxism is a serious thing because it just triggers stress in your body. When you're, when you're grinding your teeth like that, that, that triggers cortisol and other yeah. problems. Yeah.